Hello and welcome to the Global SU Blog Hop. My name is Jackie Lawrence and I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the UK at jackiestampingdreams.co.uk. Today a group of demonstrators are going to be sharing and casing the new annual catalogue. By casing, this means that we're going to get inspiration from the samples that are actually in the catalogue and they're either going to be exactly the same or there's going to be a slight twist on them. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the, the hop and I'll put you down onto my desk and we can get crafting. So this is the card that I'm going to be making today. Um, absolutely beautiful and I have cased the card which is on the front of the annual catalogue absolutely gorgeous and this image is the first image you see on the catalogue and it is what um, persuaded me to get the, um, the stamp set and dies. So the stamp set I'm going to be using is called Artistically Inked absolutely gorgeous images and lovely um, sentiments in there it's a red rubber stamp set as well um, absolutely beautiful along with the stamp set we have the matching artistic dies so we've got um, framelets that frame the um, the stamp image and then we've got these couple of detailed dies as well and I'm going to be using this leaf design. The other thing I'm going to be using is um, Christmas trimmings dies and I've got this die here that I'm going to use. This is because I haven't got all the elements that um, was used on the, um, the image on the catalogue. So I'm just going to move the catalogue out of the way and then we can get started. Okay, so first of all, I have got my base card and this is in basic white and it's the thick card. And what I've done is I've got my sheet of card and I've cut it down the center, then I've scored it and folded that up and burnished that with a bone folder, okay? Then we've got these gorgeous papers, absolutely stunning. And um, I can't recommend these papers enough. They are gorgeous. So let me just show you the papers. So if I just flick through these. So these have got a gold element in them and they're absolutely stunning. Um, the camera is just not doing them justice enough beautiful okay perfect for all your different paper crafting projects so there's the papers and i have actually kept to the colorway that is on the um on the on the catalog so the designer series paper measures at 14.4 by 10 centimeters and that is four inches by five and a quarter inches in the US letter style okay and you need two sheets of different paper okay so then grabbing a pencil and a ruler you just need to measure now I've measured um, five centimeters this way and I think it's two point uh, 2.5 centimeters this way and I've just put a little mark um, and I've marked that already okay it's up to you what your measurement how you want your measurement it you know how thick you want your um, your um, your paper okay so grabbing your paper trimmer You just need to make sure your two pieces design and series paper are together. Then you're lining up the um, your pencil marks like so. Okay, so I've got a pencil mark there. 
and a pencil mark there. So line that up in the track of your of your um, of your um, paper trimmer, and then you'll be left with these pieces. So you can have that one going like that and then you can have one going like that. So you're not wasting your, your paper. So this just needs to be glued to your, um, your base card and I'm going to be using some Tombow. I mean it's just a shame that um, we're covering up this other side of the paper. That's the only problem with designer series paper. That it's got beautiful sides on both sides. So, so I'm just putting that on. With your Tombow. And because this is a wet glue, you will have some wiggle room. So it's just making sure you've got an even border all the way round. So then that can be put to one side. Next I've got some um, basic white card. So I've got one for doing the die cutting. Okay. And one for doing the stamping. So we'll do the stamping next. So the colours that I'm using is Magenta Madness, Shaded Spruce, and pear pizzazz, absolutely gorgeous colours. So I've got my flower and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp off onto a post-it note because I don't want the image too dark. So if I just bring that down a bit. see what I'm doing okay so I've just inked and then I've stamped onto my post-it note and then I'm going to stamp onto my white card and that just gives a softer color and that is called second generation stamping and you could even stamp off again if you wanted it sort of slightly paler again now I think with the um, leaves, let's try this. I can't remember if I stamped on or stamped off. I think that looks okay by stamping off. Okay, so next we need to bring in our die cutting machine and this is the mini cut emboss machine. And then you'll need your plates one and the two two plates. They will get worn, so don't worry about that. So just laying my card on there. I'm just going to bring over my two um, corresponding dies. And they can go on like that. And what you can do is get some masking tape or washi tape and you can just put that in place to hold your die as it goes through the machine. So just on there. But you don't want anything too tacky 
that when you lift it off it will take the image off your card if that makes sense so just putting that on top there and then just running this through absolutely love this machine because it just sits on my desk and there's so many of the dies that actually fit through the machine so it's quite a lot so there's our die cut images so that can go to one side and then whilst we're there I'm just going to pop on our leaf die and bring that plate back bring the machine back in. Okay, then you get all these little bits which will go everywhere. <laughs> okay, so that can go there. And then just carefully take that out of the die. And then get in our take of pick tool. Um, I've got the brush end on here. And I'm just going to brush these elements out. So that is our die cut um, image with all the little bits taken out. So I'm just bringing in a, um, a grid sheet and I'm going to use the um, blending brushes. If you haven't already seen these before, these are absolutely lovely. So nice and soft, um, perfect for your blending. And what I've done is I've got a brush for each of the colourways. Okay, so this is my green brush and I'm just going to use the pear pizzazz. checking that I've got the right green and I'm just going to go over this lovely image not going completely all over it so you've got your white elements on there as well but you can do as much or as little blending and putting the ink on as you wish okay so you just need a little bit. So that's our image there. Absolutely beautiful. So our sheet can go to one side. Um, right, next I've got the banner take, um, I think it's called banner pick a punch. And I've got a strip of basic white. So this measures four inches by three quarter inches and two centimeters by 10 centimeters. Okay, and I'm going to use both ends of the punch. So you're just slotting that in and you've got these little channels here which they fit in perfectly. And then just turn your punch over and just make sure that you've got that in the center. So we do one and then I'm going to do the fish towel at the end. So again, just making sure that that's in place and cut. And there you go. You've got a lovely, a lovely double ended banner there. OK, so for that, we're going to um, stamp hello. And that's going to be in shaded spruce. So just lightly tapping and then stamping down. Okay, so that's our banner there. And then it's really the case of um, layering the card up, but I've just remembered we've got to use a piece of gold. So I've got some gold foil here. 
and I'm going to use the die from the Christmas set. Okay, so that's from the Christmas Tidings die set and it's this image here. Okay, so I'm just again bringing back the die cutting machine. get placed on there so don't throw away your gold foil scraps because they always come in handy so again just pulling that through And there's our little um, piece there. Let's put that on some white so you can see that. Okay. So I'm going to bring back our, um, our base card. And I'm going to bring in my um, silicon mat. Um, as you can see, this is a bit gluey, so I keep mine in one of the stamp cases, and it just, although it folds over slightly, um, it it unravels and stays flat, which is good. So I'm just going to put a blob of glue on there. And then using a sponge, just a cheap sponge I'm just going to turn that over and I'm going to dab my sponge in the glue and just apply that glue all over okay and then just keep carefully peel that off That can then be placed onto the front of your card. Like so. Um, with the silicon mat, that will just go in the wash and that will, um, with some soapy water and that glue will come off, okay. And then I'm going to um, cut some ribbon. So the ribbon that I have chosen, as I don't have the ribbon that was on the, on the, um, the cover, this is the Fine Art Gold Ribbon. So that's really lovely. And you just sort of place that on there and then you can sort of decide the length of your ribbon. Okay, so just cut that off with your snips or your scissors. That is slightly too long. Um, so we're just wanting it to be slightly smaller than our... banner and just a little bit more this ribbon will fray so you know don't be don't be worried about that okay and then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my um, my banner so just using my take a pick tool with the pointy end um, many of you will know this is one of my favourite tools so just put that over ok and then you can just pick the, the backings off quite easily Okay, so that can fix 
go like that. Okay, so I've caught the ribbon there with the um, with the dimensionals, so that will stay in place. Then it's a case of just gluing and layering your flowers and your leaves. So again, taking the Tombow, I'm going to put some on there. Just like that. So then the leaves. And go under the banner and then I'm just going to bring back my silicon mat again oh my gosh it does need a clean and my sponge and then I'm just going to put some glue on here and I'm just going to trim that stem off just slightly because I think that's going to be a bit too long and then that can go under your flower like that lastly I'm going to put um, some rhinestones on and um, we've got these beautiful bumblebee trinkets which I think look absolutely gorgeous so bring that up to the camera lovely so um, we've got, got those and I've also cut off some um, the champagne rhinestones because I think they will go absolutely perfect with this card Okay, so let's do the rhinestones first. So again, using my take a pick tool, this time I'm using the um, the putty end. I do have more than one um, tool. So I use one for the putty end and the ball tool. And then, um, which is a double ended ball tool. And then I have what I call my die cutting um, one. So I've got the, the brush on there and then I've got the pointy tip um, for the prick tool. And then you've got your spatula on the end there. But I don't tend to use my spatula very much. So that's why I keep that as my die cutting tool. So I've just put the three gems on there. OK, so um, I'm just going to get my glue dots and my take a pick tool with the pricking end and just find one of these glue dots Oops. and oh, got another one there on my finger let's take that one off and then you can put this wherever you want I think I might have it come in there. Okay, and then you just grab one of your bees and then that can go just there. And there's your card finish. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the stamps and I especially love the papers as well. So I hope I've inspired you with using that set and that um, you've had loads of inspiration from the other demonstrators and also that we've inspired you to actually look at the um, samples in the catalogue and make them, you know, they're absolutely beautiful and it does take sometimes the work out of designing a card if you just want to do something quick and easy. So please do contact your demonstrator um, if you don't have one, then please do look in the demonstrator finder. And if you're in the UK, then um, please contact me if you would like to have a catalogue or if you'd like to place any orders or if you've got any questions with regards to stamping up. And if you'd like to have more information regards to retreats or classes, then again, please do contact me. 
All that's left for me to say is thank you for joining us. Please do go round the rest of the hop and leave comments because we do like to receive feedback. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell and give me a thumbs up and you'll also be um, notified of any videos that I upload. Anyway, keep well, keep safe and keep crafting and enjoy the rest of the hop. Bye.